Hello everybody and welcome to a new video by Macintosh Training. Today we are going to be looking at clearing up space on your Mac. This is a huge request that I see, um, that I get uh, often. Uh, you know, how do you find what is taking up space? How do you remove it? Um, a lot of people will say, you know, hey, I've deleted a ton of files and no space has been cleared up. So we're going to kind of go through all that, best practices, uh, good places to look, that sort of thing. But first, I'm going to need you to uh, like, subscribe, uh, comment, get involved on my page. I really appreciate it. Uh, that, that little like button goes a long way. So uh, uh, please go ahead and do that. Now, um, we're going to uh, look at clearing off stuff on your Mac. Now, this assumes that you know you probably are running out of space. Your computer is giving you warnings about uh, uh, you know your startup disk is full, or maybe it's saying you don't have enough memory. Um, all sorts of weird things can start to happen when you don't have enough space. Um, probably the first place to look at, to see what your storage uh, uh, scenario is is to go up to About This Mac, click on the Storage tab up at the top, and it'll kind of tell you. It'll say, you know, hey, here's how big your drive is. Here's how much you got available. Here's how much you're using. Um, and, uh, yeah, it'll just kind of give you a picture of, of where you're at. If uh, this thing that's calculating is all the way to the end and you got not very much free, uh, then then uh, you're going to have some trouble. Uh, you really need to have, usually a good rule of thumb is about 10% of your drive free at all times. Um, so, and usually that's about, you know, you probably want at least 15 gigs or so free. 15 to 20 would be, would be ideal. Um, now, you'll see this thing is, it's indexing. It's going to kind of tell us what is taking up space. To be honest with you, this is not the most accurate thing. You know, Apple, the Mac OS is trying to help you out to determine what's taking up space, but it just usually doesn't do that great of a job. So I would ignore, you know, what, the, the index that it's giving you of what taking, what's taking up space. Let's just ignore that, okay? Because I'm going to give you some more specific and direct ways to clear up space. Okay, so um, not only can you can you see this here, but if you've got your hard disk showing on on uh, the the desktop, if it's not, if you go to Finder Preferences, you can turn it on by clicking on this, um, and then you just do a uh, either highlight it and go up to File, Get Info, or you can right click on it or secondary click and go to Get Info. And it'll give you a bunch of information here. It'll tell you the format. It'll tell you what's used, what, what your capacity is. So this is another way um, to find out how big this drive is. But not only that, you can do that on any folder. So you could go in. If you want to see how big your applications folder is, you can right-click on it, get info, and it's going to tell you. It might take a little bit to calculate the size. You just got to wait a little bit. But uh, it will eventually tell you how big everything in that folder is. Uh, and that's a really good way, you know, if you just want to kind of get a, a snapshot of a folder, how big a folder is. If you think a folder has a lot of stuff, let's say you've got a folder on your desktop that's got a bunch of stuff in it and you want to know how big it is, you can just right click on it, get info, wait for it to calculate, and then it will tell you how big that folder is. And if it's taking up, you know, all the space on your drive, at least you've now narrowed it down. So now you can see it says uh, about 11 11 gigabytes in my applications folder. Okay, but um, you know, there's a lot of places in your Mac that can take up space. And you probably don't want to be going around getting info on everything. You could do that if you want. You could go to each folder and get info on it. There is a quicker way to do that, actually. If you, uh, if you uh, hold down, or actually, you know, if you go up to File, and you'll see get info is here. You hold down the option key, it gives you this thing that says show inspector. Um, inspector is, is just like get info, except it's not static. So what I mean by that is, you know, it's going to show you the size of this folder, but if I use the arrow key and just kind of go down, I can just kind of get a snapshot of all these folders rather than having to do this. Get info. Oh, now I want to get info on documents. 
Now I want to get info on down. Like, so you, d you don't want to have a bunch of these info windows open. So you could use the inspector. Again, just hold the option key, shows the inspector. And then you can kind of just, you know, if you've got a folder and you want to look at everything that's in there, you, know, you can kind of just do that. Then it'll give you kind of a snapshot and you can, you can easily scroll down through. Um, so those, those are some real quick ways you can look. Just a general rule of thumb. If you're running out of space on your computer, 99% of the time, at least whenever I am helping out users or um, you know, trying to help people uh, get their, their data down, their data usage down on their computer, 99% of the time, it's movies, music, or pictures. These three guys. These are what are taking up all your space, okay? Now, these folders can be misleading, okay? The reason why it can be misleading is the movies folder, by default, you know, by default, there's going to be nothing in these folders, but the movies folder, by default, isn't necessarily for storing movies. It's for if you're using iMovie or Final Cut, um, and any of the Apple apps that store movie databases, are going to be stored in here, okay? So you might go into your movies folder and see, oh, I've got this iMovie database thing, or I've got a Final Cut database thing, and you probably don't want to go in there and delete that database. I suppose if you know you don't need any of that stuff, you could just pick up the whole thing and move it in the trash. But ideally, at that point, you want to actually open iMovie or open Final Cut and delete things out of the database from inside of the application. A uh, similar thing with music, and this is where it's confusing because your iTunes library goes in music, but of course iTunes doesn't just have music in it, it can also have movies if you've downloaded a movie or a TV show or that sort of thing. So it's very possible that you've got a bunch of movies in your iTunes library that are taking up space and you want to get rid of those. Um, those would be inside of your, your iTunes library. And the same sort of thing. You'd want to open up iTunes and delete them from within iTunes and not try and navigate through your iTunes library uh, in the finder and delete them that way. And then again, in your pictures folder, um, your photos app, this guy down here, when you add photos into the photos app, it's going to create a photos library. So again, you probably want to, unless you've got random files that are in these folders, you probably want to leave these folders alone and instead try and um, delete stuff from the actual respective apps, the Photos app, the iTunes app, and iMovie or Final Cut, GarageBand as well, if you've got stuff in there. Now, um, iTunes is a big one. iTunes is a big one. And the reason why I say that is because if we open iTunes, what a, a, lot, of, a lot of the times I go straight here. I go into iTunes, and rather than looking at the you know, the, the albums, the music, the movies, which these are good places to look. One thing that always just people don't realize they have on their computer is in preferences under devices. At some point, usually, you've plugged an iPhone, an iPad, an iPod Touch, something into your Mac, and it has created a full backup of it. And those backups are huge, okay? So... If you've got a backup that's in this list from, you know, it'll tell you the date of it. Let's say that that date is three years ago or something. And now you use iCloud to back up your phone. You don't need those backups in here. So you can highlight them and delete them one by one if you want. Um, another thing you can do, uh, those backups are stored. And if you got your finder in the foreground, you got to go, hold down the option key to get into your library. Go up to application support mobile sync backup all iTunes backups are stored in here now I have seen before where in iTunes preferences devices there's been nothing in here but there's been folders in here and I don't exactly know why that is but I would check in this folder if you've got stuff in here and you know you don't need any backups or anything just nuke whatever's in here just throw them in the trash but I would delete them from here. If they're showing up in here, use the, the actual interface that, uh, that Apple gives to you um, to delete them uh, um, gracefully, so to speak. Okay, so that's one place to look. Look at your, your iTunes backups. Otherwise, 
if you've got to just make some quick space on your computer, you could delete, you know, songs. Songs are only about, you know, three to six, maybe 10 megabytes at the most. Meaning you could delete uh, many, many songs, many, many photos, because photos are small as well, and barely make a dent. If you've got movies on your computer, movies, TV shows, what I mean by that are video files. If you've got files on your computer that are videos that you don't need, you aren't using, that is the first place to go. Delete those video files, and that means either um, you know deleting them within the, the respected interface or dragging them from Finder into the trash and emptying the trash. Um, that's going to clear up space faster than anything because rather than deleting a ton of little files, this is deleting a few very large files. So it's an easy way to make a dent in it. Um, not that it's a bad thing to clean up your songs or clean up... Uh, uh, your podcasts or, or photos, but movies is a, is, is a really quick way to do it. So if you have any of those, go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, um, and, and uh, again, you can have movies inside of the Photos app so, uh, or video files. You can have those inside of the Photos app. So again, if you want to target videos, um, going into Photos is a good way to do it. Now, if you want to just see your videos, there is an easy way to do this. You can do Smart Album, and uh, you could call this Videos. And you could say the photo is video. And what it'll do is anything that is in your photos library that is a video file, it will automatically put it in this Smart Album. All your videos will show up. And that way, rather than having to go through your whole photos library and try to see if something's a video or not, this gives you a way to target them real quick. And if you've got videos, you know, a lot of people have videos where, you know, oh, you didn't even realize it was recording. Or, uh, you know, you've got this 20-minute video and you really only need, like, two seconds of it. You know, you can quickly go through that stuff, delete it, and make space. Um, besides that, um, you know, applications are a good, good place to go if you've got old versions of Microsoft Office or old versions of Adobe Creative Suite or, or you know, you're using Photos now, but iPhoto is still on your computer. You know, any of that sort of stuff, you can trash that stuff. Um, and, and applications are generally very large, so uh, clearing out old, old applications is a good way to go. Um, otherwise, you can use a tool to help you with this. And I would suggest the best, simplest, just bare bones tool is, um, is a tool called Omni Disk Sweeper. Um, now, uh, the, the uh, company that makes this, Omni Group, um, they've got versions. I think you have to download the particular version yeah, for your operating system. So uh, if you don't know which operating system you have, you can go up to the Apple and about this Mac, and it'll tell you here. See Mac OS Mojave, version 10.14.3. And so you would look here and see... Oh, what version do I have? For Mac's running Mac OS 10.13 and later. So we're on 10.14.3, so that obviously we're later. Um, it says click the download button to get the latest version, and there's a download button. And you can download whatever version you want, um, respective to what, what OS you have installed. And the nice thing about this app, um, and you know what, let's go ahead and, and install it, and, and I'll show you how this works. So you go ahead and open it up here, and if you really want to install it, and you know, drag it into your applications and keep it forever, you can. You can drag it right in there. But you, if you want to just run it once, I mean, you can just open it up from the disk image um, and it will uh, just give you a very, very uh, simple, um, simple view of your, your drive. So you'll see here, it's got Macintosh HD. It tells you how much is free, how much is used. You click on it and, and then click Sweep it's going to give you just a really simple text-based view of everything on your Mac. Now, one thing it does do is show you hidden files, uh, hidden folders. So this view could be confusing um, for some people. Uh, and you don't want to delete anything that you're not sure about. But really, and yeah, it's going to ask for access to certain things. It's only going to do this on Mojave. Um, it's going to ask for access for certain things. Um, if you've got High Sierra earlier, you won't see those things. But 
give it access to what it needs, otherwise it's not going to give you the correct sizing. Um, and then in your, really what you're looking for is this users folder. You want to see what's in your user folder because this is where all your stuff is going to be. It's going to be in your documents or your downloads or your desktop or that sort of thing. Um, but it just gives you a snapshot and you can see gigabytes and anything that's gigabytes, you know, you want to take a look at. Uh, if it's megabytes, you know, if it's a lot of megabytes, then you might want to take a look at it. But you don't want to delete anything that you're not sure about. Only delete things that are, you know, it's, it's an application that you don't need anymore and you're sure you don't need it. Or it's a document, some sort of document file, whether that's a movie, you know, music file, picture file that you created that you know you don't need anymore. Don't go in here and say, hmm, uh, this, I don't know what this thing is. Let me delete that. Don't just start guessing at stuff. You can really mess up stuff if you're deleting files and you don't know what they are. Just go in and find files that, uh, you know, you, uh, you know that you don't need anymore and remove those, you know. So we just downloaded Omni Disk Sweeper. I'm running it right now, so I can't delete it. But, you know, you can go in here and click trash and it'll throw it to the trash. And you could go through and just kind of use this tool to identify where all of your stuff is. And it does a nice job of organizing it from you know, highest to lowest, what's taking up the most space. And uh, you know, it'll let you know if, let's say, uh, your mail database is taking up all the space. Well, then you know, you've got to look in, go into mail and, and start trashing some things. You know, it'll, it'll outline to you what is using the most space. So this is a, a great tool. I use this. Um, if I go through the basic steps that I showed you originally and I can't find out what, the, you know, it's, it's difficult to see what's taking up space, I'll go ahead and just download this tool and run it uh, because it's just a, an easy, quick little tool. As you can see, it, it's only 18 megs, so it's a tiny little tool. You know, there's there's uh, disk programs out there that they give you a giant graph and all these, you know, colored pictures and crazy graphical stuff. And, you don't need that. You just need to see where the stuff is and, and, and get rid of it. So uh, I highly suggest Omni Disk Sweeper. Uh, go ahead and download that and check that. I'll link to that page in the description below. Uh, once again, yeah, if you got questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And uh, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe, like, uh, comment, any sort of support you can give me. Um, that would be great. Hey, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.